Thank you, Nicholas. Fort Wayne City Councilman Tom Didier is upset that a man was shot and killed in his district today. News Channel 15's Kytor Pessoa talked with him and police as they try to figure out what happened. So, Kytor, what's the latest? Police were called to the, to the suburban extended stay hotel on Coliseum Boulevard at 1.40 this afternoon. Officers found a man dead in the driver's seat of an SUV in the back of a hotel. An unexpected call to police this afternoon. News of a man dead in the suburban hotel parking lot with a gunshot wound in the head. At this point in time, I think we've got a crime scene. A worker at the hotel says he was taking out the trash when he saw a man bent over in the driver's seat of a car. He walked over and asked if he was okay, only to be alarmed by blood and a gunshot wound. He rushed inside to alert hotel management. Police say they have no suspects and no details on the victim. We're bringing in all of our resources, uh, start documenting, and uh, take baby steps from there. So at this point in time, it's just hurry up and wait. You know, just do our due diligence. Fort Wayne Councilman Tom Didier recently passed a law that limits the number of illegal activities that places such as a hotel can call in. The goal is to relieve police of an overwhelming number of calls. But Didier says that applies to nuisance activities, such as drug deals and prostitution, not what happened here today. And in this particular circumstance, you know, this was somebody who got, you know, gunned down in a car outside the building. So it's, it's a situation where, you know, we don't, I don't know all the particulars yet. So I don't believe this one is going to affect this particular hotel in the essence of the ordinance. He's now considering the bigger picture. It just affects people's, um, you know, their, their psyche, their, you know, what's happening. It's like they don't want to see these types of, of things happen in the city of Fort Wayne, and I, nor do I. Police are expecting an autopsy tomorrow. We'll keep you up to date as details develop. Kytra Pessoa, News Channel 15.